Hello friends. Good morning. This is subject EVS. Children, we have already finished our lesson number 9 in previous lecture and I hope you have completed your workbook writing too. Children, let's start next lesson. More about water. Lesson number 10, more about water. Children, here is picture in front of you. Okay, what is there? There is a glass of water in the hand of a girl and you have to observe the color of the water. What color is it? No color? Yes, water does not have color. Water does not have color. And next picture is there in front of you. Observe the picture. The f in the first picture, the girl is smelling the flower. And in the second picture, the girl is smelling the water. So, children, my question is that, did you like the smell of flower? Yes, I know. Everyone is going to say that, yes, teacher, we like the smell of flower. And in the next picture, the girl is smelling the water. Does it have a smell? No. So, water does not have smell okay what the first uh, what is the first point we have seen water does not have color and next point we have seen in this picture that water does not have smell next point we are going to see see the picture first observe the picture two boys are there one boy is smelling uh, one boy is testing the ripe mango Okay, you can test the ripe mango or chiku or goa. Okay, so how does the ripe fruit test? Now, test the water and how does it test? So, your answer will be that the ripe fruit test sweet and the water does not have test. So children, from these pictures, what I want to tell you, pure water has no color, taste or smell. Okay, so make this point clear for you. Say after me, pure water has no color, taste or smell. Got it? Now, children, here are new terms in front of you. Let's learn these new terms. First, transparent. If you can see through a substance, it is said to be transparent. Okay. So, children, if you will see something through the through a substance, you can. If you can see through that substance which is there in front of you, then that substance is said to be transparent. Okay. And opposite, opaque. If you cannot see through a substance, it is said to be opaque. So, here are two pictures in front of you. First is showing that the substance is transparent and the second one is showing the substance is opaque. Okay, understood? New terms? Okay, good. Now, children, I'm going to show you one experiment here. You can see the picture, what the boy is doing. Light a candle and stand it on a table. Look at it through a cardboard. Now, look at the same candle through a glass pane. What do you find? First, you have to see to that candle through a cardboard okay in the picture you can see the boy is looking through the cardboard to the candle and in the second picture if you will see the boy is looking to the candle through a glass pane okay a glass pane means what it is a piece of glass through the glass pane you cannot see the flame through the cardboard. Am I right? You cannot see the flame through the 
cardboard in the picture the first picture we have seen the boy was looking through the cardboard but we cannot see through the cardboard but in the second picture the boy was looking through a glass pane and through the a glass pane he could see the candle so what can we say the cardboard is opaque because we cannot see through cardboard the cardboard is opaque but glass is transparent now look at the candle through a glass of water what do you find the candle can be seen through the water in the glass as well what does this mean water too is transparent so what we have seen the next point about the water water is transparent okay let's see which points we have seen just now pure water has no color has no smell has no taste and is transparent so pure water has no color pure water has no smell pure water has no taste and pure water is transparent okay you have to remember these points now children ne- we are going to see the next experiment you have to take some wheat or jowa flour some water take two dishes and two glasses you can see in the picture already it's there in one dish there is jowa flour and in the second dish you can see in second dish we have taken water so we have to put a little flour in one of the dish dishes and pour some water in the other dish okay already it's there now put some flour in one of the glasses and put some water in the other glass what do you see children the first dish we have poured the flour second dish we have pour some water okay in the third number glass we have put a little flour in fourth number glass we have pour some water what do you see children a small heap of flour is formed in the dish heap means what when we put a flour in the dish it does not spread in the dish so where we put the flour it is there only so it is a heap of flour a heap of flour is formed in the glass as well in the glass third number glass also a heap of flour you can see the water however takes the shape of the plate or glass but when we pour the water in the dish and in the glass we can see that water can take the shape of that dish and the shape of that glass so what does this tell us water takes the shape of the container into which you pour it water does not have a shape of its own that is why it spreads when it spills on the floor so water does not have its own shape so whenever there is a water on the floor we pour water on the floor it will spread on the floor of course it will spread on the floor so children here are two questions in front of you we can see the bottom of a pool of water only if the water is clean why you know that water is transparent so we can see through the water but if it is not clean we cannot see through the water so the bottom of the of a pool of water should be clean correct second question use your brain power while carrying a bucket of water down a slope the bucket fell and the water was spilt 
will the water form a heap or will it flow away or do you think it will form a heap or will it flow away yes it will flow away so children which points we have seen just now about water more about water first it takes the shape of its container okay it takes the shape of its container through the experiment of the glass and the dish we have seen this it spreads on a flat surface it spreads on a flat surface and it flows down a slope down a slope where it will get plus to flow okay down side it flows from up to down water okay so it flows down a slope 